Hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Email me for a reading. Thank you to the people that donated. Thanks for all the love. Sorry about the live video. <laughs> it got cut off. I don't know. Life. So we're moving on to fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What does Aries need to be aware of? What do they need to remember? And what do they need to let go of? Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm like, man. All right, well. Six of swords in reverse, four of cups in reverse, and the world card. Not working with someone, maybe, or they're not working with you anymore. For some immaturity, maybe breakup or some codependency, but then you have the uh, spying, are we, Aries? Someone's spying on you. <laughs> someone that, that there's going to be a stable something here offered here pretty soon. Maybe marriage or something. Six of swords in reverse. So you're not able to move on from someone, something, someone. Maybe this person isn't, what you need to know is they're not able to move on from you. Even though they think that they should, they can't. Clarify the six of swords in reverse. So, there might have been a false start or something that didn't, uh, no passion, I don't think, something that didn't start the right way because there was immaturity, knights of cups, so just something that disappointed you, could have been a mother of your child, could have been a motherly figure, earth sign, but then you have a justice, so it could be a Libra. So I think that in this situation, there's going to be justice coming in and maybe a newer person. I don't know. For what you need to remember, you have the Four of Cups in reverse, is that maybe you declined an offer, but maybe you need to choose happiness. Choose to be happy instead of sad and dissatisfied. Some heartbreak here. Maybe with a fire sign or maybe this is you with your heart broken because something didn't go the way you wanted it to. Some type of loss or depression here. Maybe with a water sign for some of you because it's at the bottom of the deck. Someone doesn't want to be left out in the cold because you're at the five of pentacles so... Maybe you broke up with someone or you're thinking about breaking up with somebody, but you don't really want to at the same time because they make you happy. Things are just really unbalanced right now. That's what you need to know, what you need to remember. And you guys are probably fighting because you have the five of wands. Something's about to really fucking change, okay? You have the tower card, so something's about to end, come crashing down. Then you still have this message about... Or something's in motion for you. Maybe a new job, but it could be a new person. They're just moving really slow. Then you have the Five of Cups in reverse and the Hermit card in reverse. So moving on in forgiveness, maybe you feel like you need to let... Maybe you need to let go of some of these old feelings. Um, like especially the... Maybe a Virgo, but some kind of loneliness or something that's in your head. Something that you're fighting about. Definitely fighting with somebody... Because there was a person that was in and out and not really sure what they wanted to do. Kind of chaotic. Maybe uh, sleeping around a little bit too much. But then there's this gossiping and... <laughs> there's so... Your gossip... Okay. So there's someone spying, but at the same time, there's someone that wants to this stable relationship with you. Or maybe this is what you're going to be offering to someone. Because you can't let them go. Now, for what you need to let go of is the world card. And then you have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So I feel like maybe... You need to let go of the fact that you wanted your life to go a different way, and it's not. And you're completing a life lesson, but you're also really depressed and you're feeling empty about this right now. 
And I feel like it's what you need to let go of. And there might be this Queen of Pentacles that some of you need to let go of. Some issues maybe with your mother or a mother in general that's around. Whatever's making you feel really empty. Something you're being really def defensive about, but you still want to offer them, you know, a stable commitment. Could be a Taurus for some of you. Maybe you need to walk away from an abusive situation, or you did, or this person did, so that this person can come in your life. The slowly moving person, or maybe you kind of figured out which direction you want to go. What is some advice? Well, let's see. We'll see what your um, romance angel oracle card is for today. What's the romance angel oracle card for the sign of Aries today? I don't think you guys are feeling good because I just got sick. Like, I feel nauseous. So you have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Leo and Dizzy. What the fuck is this? Whew, okay. What is uh, what does Leo need to be aware of? What do they need to remember? What do they need to let go of? Eight of Swords in Reverse popped up, Leo. So maybe what you need to be aware of is that those thoughts that you keep having in your head are being released, or you are releasing yourself from that. Um, what you need to remember is that you're stuck to something. This is why... You kind of feel like your hope is destroyed for some reason. Like you're really stuck. Maybe a Scorpio for some of you. But there is someone that really loves you. And maybe this is why you feel stuck and you don't understand your feelings. It's because you love them and they love you. What you need to let go of is the judgment card in reverse. So whatever happened that probably wasn't fair. There probably was some... Um, Something that didn't go in your favor, maybe. Maybe you made the wrong choice or they did. Someone who was in denial about how they felt in the past. Because then you do have this Knight of Pentacles that is coming in and they are not able to let you go. They can't move away from you either. So if you're feeling like you didn't know how they felt, they can't move on from you either. What is the Romance Angel Oracle card for the sign of Leo for today? Ooh. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Alright, now we have Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to be aware of? What do they need to remember? What do they need to let go of? What does Sagittarius need to be aware of? What do they need to remember? What do they need to let go of? Maybe someone's worried about money or concerned about money, or maybe there's this person that's coming in. Uh, 
All right. What you need to be aware of is that in the situation where you just don't really feel like you're supported anymore with this person or you feel like there's been a lot of things that aren't going right and setbacks, you're going to have clarity about this and um, someone isn't going to be walking away from this situation. Probably another fire sign. So maybe that's just what you need to know is that they're not going to be walking away even though you guys are having some issues. What you need to remember is that you have someone in your life that loves you a lot or cares about you a lot and like, you know, your king is here. What you need to let go of is the three of swords. So some type of depression. Maybe there was a divorce or a heartbreak, but it's time to let it go. Because there was some shit that happened, I think, for you. Maybe you got fighting with somebody and you're just not really sure what you want to do. Some kind of emptiness. Someone let you down. You feel really disappointed in someone. But I think that there is someone who does care a lot about you that knows what they want and are moving in your direction because they want to offer you a stable relationship or maybe some type of commitment maybe engagement maybe marriage for some of you maybe somebody who was sleeping around the nine of cups in reverse but you love each other and there will be victory in this, okay? What is the Romance Angel Oracle card for the sign of Sagittarius today? You have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Have some fun! Play! Romantic feelings. Your feelings are worry bleh, real and worth exploring. That is all I have for you lovely people today. I might be doing a live video later. I'm not really sure. Kind of have to see what the day brings. But anyways, have a good day, everyone.